I'm the CBS Detroit whistleblower with Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the CNN whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. If you have been following this channel for some time, you realize I have done about three videos pertaining to what is happening with Project Veritas recently whistleblowers like you have seen here. I have the full clip. They are coming out to send their support to James O'Keefe. This is coming a day after Project Veritas released a statement partaking to what is happening. I will read this out so you can understand what is going on. But before I do, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please endeavor to do that. And if possible, why not share this clip? I'm the CBS Detroit whistleblower with Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the CNN whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. HHI with Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the Department of Homeland Security whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I'm the HHS whistleblower exposing government-sponsored, taxpayer-funded child trafficking. I stand with James O'Keefe. I am the Hasbro CRT whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. Postal Service whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James. I was one of the Project Veritas Facebook insiders, and I stand by James O'Keefe. I blew the whistle on Facebook, and I stand with James O'Keefe. Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. United Healthcare whistleblower for Project Veritas, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I blew the whistle on Tegna, and I stand with James O'Keefe. I blew the whistle on ESPN and Disney, and I stand with James O'Keefe. And I stand by James O'Keefe. My name is April Moss. My name is Carrie Porch. This is Jody O'Malley. My name is Aaron Stevenson. My name is Tara Rodas. My name is David Johnson. My name is Richard Hopkins. My name is Ryan Hartwig. My name is Cassandra Spencer. My name is Melissa McAtee. I'm Sean Stagg. My name is Zach Voorhees. My name is Brett Mauser. I am Trevor Adams. Yes, according to this statement from Project Veritas, as individual who trusted Project Veritas with our stories, the removal of James O'Keefe by the board of directors was extremely disappointing and shocking. Without James O'Keefe, there is no Project Veritas. We have all worked directly with Project Veritas journalists and in many cases spent months working with them and also interacting with Mr. O'Keefe both before going public and afterward during various events. We sacrifice our jobs, our lifehood, in order to give James hard evidence of corruption, whether it was with CBS News, Fox News, Google, Facebook, UPS, CNN, United Healthcare. Many of us were reluctant to go public, but because of but because of O'Keefe's dedication to journalist integrity and honesty, we made the leap into public with our stories because we trusted him and the, and the organizations. That currency of trust can be bought with money. We knew James would never sell us out, and he never did so. He also had our back. He stayed true to him. He stayed true to his word. And his underdiscovered went to great land to share our story in the most compiling manner possible. We have many unanswered questions about what transpired between the board and James O'Keefe. We also questioning. We are also questioning the fact and hope that more information will come into light, and that both parties can come to an understanding. We hope that any misinformation is immediately corrected and that there is no full transparency. We play a small but crucial role in the organization when we are given the opportunity to share our story, but O'Keefe's removal from the organization has there a devastating blow to future whistleblower who now may have doubt about the organization and its leadership. A few of us started 
engaging with Project Volatiles as early as 2017, and after going public, we have collectively interviewed thousands of times, have promoted the Project Volatiles brand simply by telling our story both in the U.S. and globally in dozens of countries in dozens of countries such as Brazil, Japan, Colombia, Mexico, Spain, Poland, Sweden. Chile, Argentina, we were happy to promote James' organization because all of the great experience we had working with him and his journalists, many of us were inspired by other whistleblowers who went public and we forged strong relationship with one another after being fired and dealing with media blowback, his pieces and harassment because of James, there is a growing movement of whistleblower who are willing to come forward and tell their story. We stand united with James O'Keefe and his team of journalism, and we are coordinated, and we are confident they will continue to light for the truth and expose corruption. That is what is coming from Project Veritas Board, so you realize they are actually regretting what is going on. Just within the space of two days, they lost about 200,000 followers on Twitter. I don't know about YouTube. And a lot of donors are rejecting the fact they will not continue to support the organization if Jim O'Keefe is not reinstated. What is going on? When I started watching this, and I trusted them, and started reporting what they are doing, just to get to one day to realize that James O'Keefe is leaving the organization is extremely disturbing. I knew personally that he was the owner of the organizations. So mentioning that name Project Veritas without James O'Keefe is like, I don't know. We've had uh, events for him, one in Beverly Hills. He's been a personal guest of mine at Mar-a-Lago, a turning point event, and I'm going to continue to support him. And I'm really very disappointed in the petty allegations towards him. They're actually completely false and ridiculous. So I will continue supporting James as long as he's with Project Veritas because without Project Veritas, without James, Project Veritas is nothing. So that's all I have to say. Just wanted to set the record straight and I hope everybody has a good day. One of the groups out there that I, I you know, we're almost natural friends. And of course we are friends, friends, organizationally. And I've always um, admired James O'Keefe, who runs Project Veritas. He's a great journalist. He and his colleagues do great muckraking uh, to expose corruption in government and the private sector and lies, usually by uh, using videos, investigative video techniques.